In this session, you will be introduced to some more detailed modeling. We initially placed some standard steel columns and beams to support the platform canopy. We will use that as the base support and then add tapered wood columns and beams and attach them to the steel column. We will start with a simple detail, adding a base plate for each of the steel columns. Select the base plate tool from the structural ribbon. Set the base plate type to standard base plate. Set the catalog item to one and a half inch base plate or 32 millimeter base plate. On the placement ribbon, set the grout thickness to one and a quarter inch or 30 millimeters. Set the length and width to one foot 10 or 550 millimeters. Then select the bottom of each steel column to place the plate. The base is placed, offset for the grout thickness, and the column is trimmed to meet the base plate. Now you will add additional plates to the column that will be used later to support the tapered wood members. This time you will actually draw the shape of the plate using AccuDraw. Select the Plates tool. Set the catalog item to a quarter inch plate. Now rather than simply use the rectangle by single point place by method, you will switch it to points. This will give you more control over the placement of the plate. Set place from to bottom. In other words, you will draw the bottom of the plate and it will be extruded from that shape. Turn off the structural snap so that you can snap to any key point on the steel member. Start by snapping to the bottom center of the face of the column. Using AccuDraw, select the next point 8 inches or 200 millimeters in the X direction. Rotate the compass to a side orientation and continue to define points to create a plate that is 16 inches by 8 inches or 400 millimeters by 200 millimeters on the front face of the column flange. Then copy the plate up the face of the column to the underside of the beam. Then mirror both plates to the opposite side of the column. You should now have four plates attached to the column. These will be used to help support the tapered wood members. Finally, let's use the plate tool to create the support between the steel column and the timber glue lamp beams supporting the station roof. Clear the current display set. And create a new display set of one steel column and the timber glue lamp beam. This time select the end plate tool. Set the layout to automatic. Set the catalog item to a quarter inch plate. Set the length to two feet or 600 millimeters and set the width to five and a half inches or 150 millimeters. Select the steel column, then select the timber beam. A plate is created at the top of the column. Now you can add a flange to both sides of the plate to create the support. Select the Add Flange tool. Set the flare length to one foot or 300 millimeters. Set the bent radius to a quarter inch or six millimeters. And set the bend angle to minus 90. Select Add Flange using parameters. 
Then simply select each long edge of the plate. Now that you have created one connection, you can select it and copy it to each of the steel columns that support a timber beam. In this session, you have placed base plates for columns, connection plates, and added flanges to a plate to create a bent plate support. In the next session, you will add the tapered timber members for the canopy support. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.